Hi guys, Paul here from PA Bruni is back yet again today. Today of the days. Today, 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 today. With another brew from the Eclipse Brewing Company from Sunbury, Pennsylvania. On the Market Streets. So reach over here. Pop it off. What is it? I don't know. It is a Irish Red Ale coming in at actually a hearty 6.1% alcohol by volume. So there you go. Eclipse Craft Brewery. Okay. Whoa, every one of these is filled to the brim. Okay. There you go. There you go. On the Point Glass, Mars, Evan City, Pennsylvania. Wow, that's a nice look to this beer. Ignoring the Neanderthal pour. I'm going to try to take my slow time with this because it's a very nice looking beer. On the point, all right, very copper color, really nice caramel copper color. Mm. Cheers! I'm, I'm getting a toasted, toasted kind of brown bread and cereal grain. Unless I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, I'm getting that for sure. So let's get, it, let's get into it. Cheers. Not as crazy in the nose or in the in the mouth, but there is a soft bready breadiness to it, cereal grain sweetness kind of a thing going on. Little earthiness, little, little, little just earth, earthy pepperiness, nothing too crazy. The subtlest, subtlest, subtlest note of either like a little subtle grapefruit or lemon, very subtle in there, but a lot, a nice little bit of a cereal grain sweetness, it's pretty thin. It's a pretty subtle beer. It's very, it's a, it's a bit thin. It's a little subtle, but it's drinkable as hell. And you have just a little bit of that kind of grassy earthiness, but very subtle, a little spicy earthiness, I guess you want to say, wafting through the palate. Yep, peppery earthiness in the back of the palate. The sun inside the moon, the moon inside the sun, the eclipse, who knows? But uh, this is a very easy drinking beer, but at the same time, I don't find this beer boring at all. I find this a very enjoyable drink. Yeah, a very nice little ale. It's literally just what I want out of some beers sometimes. Just a, an approachable ale with no crazy, like, no crazy fruits, no this, no that. Just a, a simple ale with a bit of bitterness. That's it. This is what it is in spades. I wish the malt base was bumped up a bit. A little bit more of that kind of, like, toasted brown bread cereal grain sweetness was a little bit higher but not too high though you know what i mean like so i'm not saying what they're doing is bad because too much of that without enough hot present is you know bullshit this seems balanced really well this seems very cohesive joe very cohesive super sessionable easy drinking uh i don't know how much this is but if this was something that was very affordable 
like in the uh I mean you either like <laughs> honestly get a uh, four pack of tall boys for ten bucks kind of thing. Like I could uh I could buy shit tons of this. This is really good. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot because of what it is. Uh, it, what it, it's not trying to be anything else, if you know what I mean. Uh, their lager was good too, but if I had to, uh, to pick a beer to drink to session, it would be this right now. I'm really happy with this beer. This is a good beer. Mm -hmm. So Irish Red Ale, on point, man. Really good. Not too much, not too little. Kind of right up, right down the middle. I like it. Eight out of ten, man. This is a good one. This is a really, I would say, you know, textbook, but it's just really nice. It's a nice little beer. So I'm gonna instead of seven point five, then my little textbook score, I'm gonna give it right to the eight out of ten. This is a really fun dude. I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna just kick back, listen to my music, and just drink this beer. Wow, good times. Mm. The ball for is. Cheers. Watch your finger. Bye bye.